to stand up being that you are missing from the multitude. They look for you where the multitude that they will not see you. Why? Because you are standing up. That is what it means to be a godly woman. You cannot be a godly woman and they will see you where they are. Amen? Then what makes you the godly woman you are? Praise the Lord. Anywhere you see her, she stands out. Hallelujah. She's conscious of her identity of the God she's carrying. Can I let you know that womanhood is not a joke? And therefore, no woman in the house is permitted to joke around in this season. No woman in the house is permitted to play around. You, you can do exercise and then you can sleep. But no woman in this great season is permitted to do stress and life for her time. Because we are already running out of time. I came here to remind you. We are already out of time. It goes calendar. So this is not the time to play around. This is the time you begin to engage yourself. You begin to exercise yourself in God. You begin to build up yourself. June 20, building up yourself in your most holy faith. Doing what? Praying in the Holy Ghost. No woman is permitted to engage herself in any form of lascivious, careless, you know, coping association or thoughts. If you choose not to fail, you will not fail. It is very, very important because we are in a season when so many things are telling us. And God is now relying on you, the woman, because we have entered into the season of womanhood. And if you fail, every other thing around you will fail. That's why you must not fail. That's why you will choose not to fail. If you fail, the system around you will fail. With due respect to the men, so many things God left in the hand of men has failed God. And God is now relying on the woman. And that woman is in the house. And God is asking you, will you also fail? So we shouldn't fail. We should respond to this calling of woman and of fulfilling the, the purpose for which God has brought us into history, has brought us into existence as women in such a time like this. You know that life without a woman is incomplete. Life without a woman is a challenge. Not the woman is a wise woman. Every wise woman builds her house, but a foolish daughter with her own. Now, what you let me know that for anything you want to build in life, dedication is compulsory. Commitment is compulsory. Discipline is compulsory. This Building materials are very much compulsory in any form, whether it's a relationship, whether it's the building of a structure, like we have all these uh, good and wonderful edifices around the open sea. But these three materials are very, very important. It says, Proverbs 14, verse 1 again, every wise woman builds. 